What's up guys, this is Fico and I'm back again doing another review. You might have noticed that I'm uh, still wearing the same because I did say that I was going to do two reviews today and uh, with the assistance of my fellow cheap green assistant here, we're going to be doing something a little special here for you. This one's going to be a single and this one is uh, a really cool track. Um, in comparison to the one I listened to this morning and saw the video for. This one's actually for uh, the the 2012 Summer Olympics that are going to be t uh, taking place in London. And you think, what band can better represent um, London than, well, not Coldplay. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I really like Coldplay, but I think I prefer someone a little harder, a little musically cre better creative. So I think we'll stick with Muse. <laughs> Muse is like one of my favorite bands um, that are not from the United States. Let me tell you, uh, the stuff that they've done, uh, it's amazing. And I loved uh, the Resistance. It's like one of my favorite albums. I do not, um, I have no doubt uh, that they were probably trying to choose or trying to go with something, you know, what, how do we represent uh, the Olympics? Because the Olympics is a formal sportish event, you know, there's uh, very little that you can get away with. I'm thinking because it's such a globally you know, observed event, but Muse, uh, Muse definitely uh, fits the bill with the song Survival. Um, what is there to say about Survival? I really like the track. It's heavy. It's energetic. It's it's silly. It's sort of like a Beatles song almost, sort of just kind of like setting up a little bit like it's silly like a, like the beginning like the half minute of the song is like oh, 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 oh. it's really it's really silly i mean that, i keep saying silly because that's that's the word that comes out of this i mean uh silly 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 what reminds me more of is bicycle race <laughs> and um you're going to notice that a lot because uh, Matt, Bellamy, uh, Matt Bellamy keeps saying it's a race, it's a race, <laughs> like it's bicycle race. But the song is, well, I'd say it's a pretty cliche written song. I mean, a lot of stuff about winning, uh, going to survive, light up the fuse. I'm gonna win. It's referenced throughout the whole song, and then uh, on the background of the song, it keeps they keep getting this little uh, choirist like ho 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 ho. Like the first half of the song, it, it's sort of like a build up, and um, then the second half of the song comes up, and wow, I mean, it like explodes. I mean, just like it's heavy, and I mean, it's probably one of like Muse's most heaviest tracks um, in recent date. I mean, because they have tons of heavy tracks, and and definitely uh, this one, uh, Survival, it definitely matches with the spirit. In my opinion, it matches with the spirit of the actual Olympics. It's sort of kind of, I mean, you you, you see him kind of doing like with his voice what you saw him do uh, in the earlier tracks. I don't know what kind of vocal technique is that, but it sort of goes like ee, ee, ee. it was like like really high pitched and and uh, people were thinking, oh, he's a Tom York ripoff by doing that voice. Radiohead is nowhere near the band that Muse is. Sorry, M uh, Radiohead is boring to me. I, I, I um sorry Radiohead fans, uh, but that's my personal gripe. Um. It's going to be very interesting seeing Muse perform that uh, track because they're most likely going to perform it when the Summer Olympics start. That Olympic torch reaches wherever it is that 
I don't know much about about the Summer Olympics or where is that main event that is going to take place, but I'm most likely definite, uh, definitively looking forward to those opening ceremonies. I can't wait to see Muse and what they're going to do to make them like, because they're already good at putting these flashy shows with these, you know, with these killer stages. And, well, let me, let me, let me be honest with you, I'm, I'm, I'm psyched. But the song itself matches uh, the spirit, you know, it's like, you know, London, you gotta win, you gotta win, we're gonna win, we're gonna win. But, but there isn't much of, it's like, London's gonna win, London's gonna win. No, it's sort of like a universal, um, overall, like, everyone wants to win, and it's a struggle, and you're, everybody's there to survive, because if you lose... I don't consider this a waste, but I would think that the Olympians are going to be like, I have wasted the last four years of my life. <laughs> now, this is tragic, but to cheer them up, I hope they do a mosh pit and take out all that aggression because um, this, this song is, is full of energy. It's full of... Um, it sort of makes you go, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> it just makes you like this, like, like you're you're just like ready to break through a game and just get going, and it's like it, it, it's a really, really uh, energetic song. And because it's a Muse track, uh, of course I rated it as a Muse track, so I'll do two ratings. As a Muse track, I'm going to give it. A four out of five. It's sort of like you know the the, the lyrics there were built as you know to do you know to represent like Olympic Olympics and events and like this is a song about you know winning and surviving and well it's got a lot of cliches in it but it's still well put together as an Olympic song. I think this is probably the best Olympic song I've heard in a long long time. I mean, I love Shakira, but uh, I've heard events, event song anthems and the World Cup Waka Waka. Um, first off, Waka Waka is um, <laughs> it's, it's a self-made parody. I mean, Waka Waka, what do you think of? If you're a geek or if you're just someone who just doesn't and never heard of Waka Waka before, what is it going to remind you? Waka 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 This song is a little less sillier. So as an Olympic song, I'm gonna give it a probably gonna give it a five out of five because I don't think any Olympian is going to not bob their head or or like do or rock out because you know what? Rock gets a bad rep and we need Bands like Muse to represent the Olympics. I mean, that's a great idea. I mean, seriously. I mean, why not? <laughs> um, where is a survival available? It's available is available on iTunes. It's available on Spotify. Uh, I'm sure you can also YouTube it. I'll uh, if I find it on Spotify, I'll just add a link below for those who have Spotify. I'll just add it down below. I'll add a link to it for, you know, to iTunes, how to reach it, so you can maybe buy it if you're interested. I would buy it. And, um, you get your Muse fix, too, because, you know, they haven't done much since Neutron Star Collision, so I'm glad that they did the Olympic Anthem, so, not the Olympic Anthem, the Olympic Song. <laughs> those aren't anthems, those are hymns. Oh, God, I can't wait to hear those. So invigorating, those hymns. Oh, but... Now I ask you, everybody, uh, do you guys listen to Survival? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Did you prefer another, um, maybe like another Muse song or maybe somebody else other than Muse? Did Coldplay get screwed? Maybe why not someone like one of the remaining Beatles? Why not Paul McCartney? Why not anybody else that's from England? I mean, why not, right? But you know what? I personally think Muse is a good selection, but if you have a better one, why don't you comment down below. And if you like what you see here, click on that button on the top, hit subscribe, and you get more videos from me notifying you about the awesomeness of music, y'all. Yeah. Now, if 
yo, excuse me, I don't have a bicycle, but I'm gonna win. I'm gonna win!